Who is the Egyptian god Thoth? The Egyptian deity Thoth was the god of the moon, reckoning, learning and scribes, who most commonly bore the head of an ibis. Thoth was one of the major gods of ancient Egyptian mythology, who played a significant role in many foundational myths. He is most commonly represented as a man with the head of an ibis, a sacred animal which Egyptians associated with wisdom. Thoth's Egyptian name was Jehudi, meaning he who is like the ibis. A complex deity with multiple associations, he was the god of the moon, reckoning, learning and writing. Egyptians believed he was the creator of the written language, which led to knowledge and the arts, as well as an interpreter and advisor to the gods, including the sun god Ra. The cult of Thoth centered around Upper Egypt and lasted from at least the pre-dynastic period to the Ptolemaic period. An Egyptian god with the head of an ibis. Thoth's image is one of the most familiar in ancient Egyptian art, that of a man with the stylized head of an ibis, and often with a lunar disc over his head. He is sometimes shown holding writing tools or a papyrus scroll, to demonstrate his close connection with the written word, language and knowledge. Thoth's sacred animals were both the ibis and the baboon, sometimes a baboon featured in his pictorial representations, or he even took the form of a baboon himself. He was self-conceived. There are several originary myths associated with Thoth. In one version of his story, he was self-created during the dawn of time as an ibis, who laid an egg which held the key to all creation inside. In another version of Thoth's life story, he emerged from the lips of Ra, and became known as a god without a mother. Another tale involved a fight for power between the two gods Horus and Set. When Set inadvertently swallowed Set's semen during their tussle, he conceived a child, who was born from his forehead as Thoth. Thoth is associated with divine balance. In the latter version of Thoth's myth, he healed both rivals and mediated their conflict. He carried this role into his duties as a deity, as a god of equilibrium and justice who presided over earth, while issuing judgments on disputes between the gods. Thoth was closely associated with Maat, the goddess of truth, justice, balance and order, and daughter of Ra. In some myths Thoth is married to Maat, and together they represent complementary qualities Thoth is the practical and grounded voice of wisdom, and Maat is the more abstract, ethereal and philosophical emblem of truth. Patron God of Scribes Thoth became widely recognized across Egypt as the patron god of scribes. Many Egyptians believed he was the creator of written language and the literary arts, which he gave to humanity through Seshit, Osiris, or Isis. As such he became record keeper of the gods, and had prophetic knowledge that allowed him to know the past and future of a person's life, linking him closely with the concept of fate. Ancient Egyptian scholars and scribes dedicated centers of learning to Thoth, and sought his wisdom through devotional practice when carrying out scholarly research. A figure of judgment in the underworld. According to several myths, Thoth had an important role to play in the Egyptian underworld. In the Hall of Judgment, he would weigh a person's heart on a scale alongside the feather of Maat, to find out how they had lived their life. He allowed society's most weightless and dutiful to enter the afterlife, while condemning evil people to a life of eternal damnation. His worship lasted a long time. Thoth was one of the longest surviving Egyptian gods, emerging during the pre-dynastic period and surviving throughout the Ptolemaic period and beyond. His cult held key centers of worship in the cities of Hermopolis Magna, where the Egyptians conjured up magical spells and amulets in Thoth's name. When the ancient Greeks conquered Egypt, they absorbed Thoth into their pantheon, merging him with the messenger god Hermes to describe a wandering wide man who shared his learning around the world, a notion that persisted into Roman times. 
Thoth was the Egyptian god of writing, wisdom and magic. He was associated with order and justice and was an advisor and mediator to the gods. Patron of the scribes, his female counterpart was Seshet, goddess of writing and keeper of books. Thoth created language and Seshet gave his words to the people. Manifestations Thoth had two manifestations, as a baboon and an ibis, seen above. Thoth as a baboon, is depicted as heavily maned seated animal, with paws resting on his knees with the lunar disc and crescent on his head. S. Sometimes he is wearing the Atef crown or the crown of Upper and Lower Egypt. The Hunt Museum has a baboon figure in a squatting position with a hole in top of the head, which may also represent the ancient Egyptian, god Thoth. These figures were also used to represent the hours of the night that the dead had to pass through. His ibis depiction is that of an ibis, or more frequently, of an ibis-headed man. Thoth is a mediator and advisor to the gods. The Egyptian gods were a quarrelsome lot and Thoth's role as a mediator and problem solver was frequently called upon. When Ra cursed his daughter Nut, forbidding her to give birth on any day of the year, she came to Thoth for help. Wise old Thoth overcame the curse by gambling with the moon god, Khonsu, for some of his light. He won one seventy-second of the moon's light. Enough for five extra days in the year, allowing Nut to have her five children, Osiris, Isis, Geb, Nephthys and Horus, and extending the annual calendar from 360 to 365 days. Again when Set murdered his brother Osiris it was Thoth who helped his wife Isis to perform the ritual to bring him back to life and gave her the magic words so that Osiris could beget Horus. He later used his wisdom and magic to support Horus in the ongoing wars with Set. Yet again when Tefnut goddess of rain and moisture, essential to maintaining life in the desert environment of Egypt became estranged from her father Ra and fled to Nubia. Ra sent Thoth with Shu, messenger of the gods and husband to Tefnut, disguised as baboons to persuade her to come home. They succeeded in their quest and returned to great rejoicing in the land of Egypt. Thoth in the afterlife. Thoth also assisted Osiris and Anubis in the Hall of Truth by recording the outcome of the weighing of the heart against the feather of truth. Deciding whether or not a person could enter the afterlife. Joshua J. Marks writes, his home in the afterlife known as the mansion of Thoth provided a safe place to rest and receive magic spells to help them against the demons that would prevent them reaching paradise. His magic was also instrumental in the revitalization of the soul which brought the dead back to life in the underworld.